Houston is dead. Two others are hurt, hospitalized because of a wreck they could not avoid. Tonight, investigators near Rockwall say they want to know why a truck driver didn't slow down, triggering a chain reaction of collisions. It happened around 4 o'clock this afternoon along I-30 near FM 3549. And about 30 minutes ago, we learned all lanes of I-30 reopened. Our Jeff Paul, live tonight in Dallas, along 30, sharing more tonight about the trucking company at the center of this and the regulations in place designed to keep all drivers safe. Well, Kaylee, if you spend just a few minutes here near 30, you will likely notice all of the 18 wheelers out here on the highway. But what you might not realize is that that truck driver next to you could be violating the law, and you might not even discover it until it's too late. The images are violent. It's a matter of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, these, ha these accidents happen nationwide every day. Former McKinney police officer, now lawyer, Pete Schulte, says he unfortunately investigated several crashes involving big rigs. They're going to look at brakes. They're going to look at, you know, was the rig too heavy? Was he fatigued? Was he looking at something in the cab? Uh, was he under the influence of drugs or narcotics or alcohol? They're... DPS says witnesses told them the driver of this 18-wheeler didn't slow down in time while traveling on 30 near the town of Fate. They say the driver then slammed into one car, causing the fatal chain reaction. It's a privilege for them to be able to make a living driving over the interstates every day or every week, and they have to follow the law. When they don't follow the law, it actually comes back and hits them harder. According to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, the trucking company believed to be involved experienced seven violations since October of last year. Three were for speeding, another three for lane restrictions, and one was for following too close. The data also shows a wreck involving one of its drivers less than two months ago in Louisiana. If they rack up enough violations, they'll shut them down. But ultimately, Schulte says it's up to the driver and the company to make sure they're operating safely. There are safeguards, but sometimes something like this has to happen for those safeguards to be checked. Now, we reached out to the trucking company believed to be involved in this wreck. A dispatcher told us that they were aware of the wreck but didn't release any other information, including the condition of their driver. Reporting live here in Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.